on. So as you can see, I'm standing in my nursery and I'm going to do my nursery tour for you guys. So this is just basically an overview of what the nursery looks like and now I'll just go through what the nursery looks like piece by piece. Okay, so this is the doorway to the nursery and our bedroom is just right there. Um, right now the nursery doesn't have a door on it. We had a door on it, it was like this mahogany color um, and I really wanted a new white door because we replaced our bedroom door and my daughter's bedroom door. So we don't have a doorway on it, but it will be going up soon. So as you walk in the room, this is what you see. And there's just a little wall here first, and that is the closet. So in this space here, I am going to have a frame with the baby's name, middle name, and birth stats on it um, so that can't really go up until the baby is here but it will go in this area here and then this is the this is the opposite wall when you walk in um, your light switch just to the side there and then you see the dresser and changing area so up here, I have these picture frames, the two gray ones say dream big little one, and then that one says love, and this one says choose to be happy. I should mention about these, the frames I got from Dollarama, they were $2 a piece, and then I just designed these pictures on paint, which was really simple. I just picked the colors and made my own pictures out of them. This is what I decided to do in this area. And just below, we have the changing pad. So as you have probably seen in my bump date, or if you haven't, um, I got the cover and the changing pad from Target. The pad was $19.99 on sale, I believe. And the other one was, and the changing cover was 12 something um from target so they were both on sale and inside here i just have a little penitent cream for the baby's bum and then you see this dresser um i got this dresser from my uncle and it was wooden so i spray painted it white because that is the color of my furniture obviously and I will just sort of quickly go through the drawers um, to show you what's in them. Okay, so in the first drawer, I have washcloths. These are all brand new. I got these from my daughter's baby shower when I had her. I have my newborn diapers here, and I can't believe how tiny they are. I forgot my daughter actually fit in those. And then back here, I just have a safety first kit and I'll actually just show you what's in here. Okay, so this is the safety first kit. You get a pair of clippers, a little magnifying glass, a medicine measurer, some nail files, a toothbrush, a comb, a brush, and a thermometer. And that I got from my daughter's pregnancy at my baby shower. Then I just have a box of wipes, some extra wipes back here, some sunscreen, baby sunscreen, um, lotion, and a doorknob because that will be going back on the new door. Some plug for the outlets. They're just a safety so that the baby can't stick it, anything into the outlet. And then in here we have some body washes and shampoos, um, binkies, and and a nose thing, um, some baby powder, and a couple brushes and things like that. So that's the first drawer. The second drawer, we have burp cloths, receiving blankets, and then that is a swaddle. This is a swaddle blanket, and I got this from my grandmother at my last shower. That is just a baby sling. I'm not sure if I'm going to be using it because it is purple. So if the 
if the baby is a boy, I probably won't be using it. In this drawer here, we have baby towels and a couple change pads. And then in the last drawer, we have crib sheets and a couple small blankets. Moving on, we have my rocking chair. So I also painted this. This was brown and it had a really ugly fabric on it. Actually, I can show you. So this was the fabric that was on this chair and then it just looked wooden. So I repainted the wood, I sanded it down and recovered the seat um, with just a basic gray. This pillow I got from Walmart and it was $12.97 I believe. Over here we have this lamp. I had this from my living room and I no longer needed it in the living room and it went perfectly with the nursery. The little bear I had from when I was a child. It's just a Thai baby and it, but it had the blue wings. So I thought that fit. The actual table I had here when we moved in, the woman left it here and it was also wooden. I spray painted it white to match and then I just have a couple books down there for me. These drawers don't actually work but it's just for looks so. And then up here we have these mirrored frames and they were wooden and I actually painted these um, probably a year and a half ago but they match perfectly with the room so I decided to put them up. So this is what this whole area looks like here and we just used basic gray curtains the next thing is the one item that I spent the most money on for this nursery um, the rest I basically had and it's just a nine cubicle shelf and the boxes so the shelf I got from Walmart and I price matched it from Target to Walmart for $51.99 I believe and then the boxes I got from Target for $8. So they match perfectly with the decor um, and that's the reason why I actually bought them from Target. In this first cubicle we just have some books and things in this tote here I have bottles and things those are already sanitized this is a you mold it so that your baby's handprint and footprint stays there and then this is just a um, letter cube and my mother had this from when we were babies in this one here I just have some extra baby food from when my daughter ate baby food and some teething items there. The next one are just some little animal books. And in this one we have some containers and this bottle rack for drying. Down here we just have a rhinoceros. That's also a Thai baby but it was white so I figured why not. It can take up some space. And this one is just some plates and bowls and bottle liners and things like that. And then we just have some more books in this one. So there is an overview of that. So moving on from here, in the corner here I just have this wooden basket filled with some blankets with a little teddy bear on top. And then we have the crib. And this crib we, I got from my parents. I actually slept in this crib as a baby. And so it's over 22 years old and it is in perfect condition. I actually just refinished um, the white paint a little bit just to make it look fresh. And on the side here, I just have a little um, holder 
it just holds whatever like diapers and things like that i don't have anything in it except for the remote for my mobile right now this mobile i got from my aunt and my grandmother for my first baby shower with my daughter it plays music and it projects a light up into here and then the spin the crib mattress I got from my mother-in-law because we didn't have one to go with the crib anymore because it was such a long time. Um, I'm actually shocked that my parents even hung out, hung on to the crib for so long. And then I just have a blanket. Um, I bought that from Giant Tiger. It was $8 or no, it was sorry, it was $5 and I'm just using it as a skirt right now because underneath the crib it's full of wipes and diapers. I just didn't want to see them out in the open. And this crib actually has the rail where it comes down in the front. So that is actually illegal nowadays. You can't buy cribs with that. Um, but it works fine. I used it with my daughter. Then we just have one of those little fish mobiles for baby. And that's just a, another stuffed animal that I put there just for now. And then this shelf up here, I just have a few bears and things. That shelf was wooden as well as you've seen in the before shot. And then down in the corner here, we just have the baby's bouncy chair. Um, it's just there for now. Eventually, it'll probably be moved to the living room or something. And then we have the baby's closet. So as you can see, there is no doors on this closet. Um, I hate trying to see things um, when closets don't have lights in them and you're trying to see exactly what you have in the closet. It's harder to see when you can only open one side. So I like the closet wide open. It's not the prettiest sight, but then again, it's more convenient. So this picture up here, this frame is also from Dollarama. And I just put my ultrasound pictures and then the middle picture is just the alphabet with the I love you sign. And I just made that on paint as well. And up there is a blue bin as well as there. And those are filled with toys. As you can see, I have a ceiling fan here. Um, we would like to change this one to a white one to match the nursery. That will be done eventually. And then on this side, we just have some bibs, extra hangers. The towel for now because that will eventually go on the back of the door and the laundry hamper for baby on this side we have all onesies and some sweaters and on this side we have sleepers and snowsuits and then down in behind here we have my little blue whale bathtub for baby and then in there is my boppy and just a little play mat for my daughter here i got these bins from dollarama as well they're pink on the inside so if it's a boy i am going to paint the inside white but if it's a girl we're going to be adding pink accents anyways so those those will be perfect in this one i just have some booties this one hats this one these two have pants and then down here we have some more blankets another change pad that I actually have to fix um, it's all ripped at the back my breast pump some breast pads and then down the bottom I have a few carriers and um, some netting and things like that so that is the baby's closet and that is the opposite wall of the window so again here is an overview of the nursery like I said if it is a boy it'll obviously just be perfect 
but we'll be adding in some more green accents. If it's a girl, then it will have pink accents on top of the blue. So that's my nursery tour. My nursery didn't turn out exactly how I would like it. Obviously it wasn't professionally done or anything like that. So I did with what I had already and I just went off of basically my old items. So I do love the way it turned out. I think it's very calming. It'll be perfect for baby. But like I said, it didn't turn out exactly the way I wanted, but I am happy with it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video, guys. Bye.